I am back in my living room. And there in that room where you see a light at the bottom. There in that room right there. Staying warm and for the snack and bag. So as I was saying, we were talking about hash set suit. Um, the first female pharaoh in Egypt. Of course, we are talking about Africa, and Egypt is a country in Africa. It's in the northern part of Africa, which is uh, mostly desert. We've talked about this before. Um, I'm just saying it again. Uh, repetition is a good way for me to memorize stuff. And these are questions that will be on a test. This just the way my mind works. But anyway, so... Um, Egypt has a Nile River that runs through it. So we actually went to Google Maps and we went to um, Egypt. Or was it Thebes? I don't know if it was Thebes I, in Egypt I, I, or in I Swan. I see my name because, because I can see what what is this mine. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Wait for me. I'm going to bring y'all a snack in a minute. But if you keep coming out, then that's going to slow me up with the snack, okay? And I'm going to do another one. Did you hear anything I just said? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, oh, train of thought. Okay, so the point I was trying to make on the previous video and this one is that we went to Google Maps today and went to several different places. And yes, I did know how we were talking about that because, of course, in our room we have a map and we have a globe of a map of Africa and a globe but not everything is on the map so that's how we got to talking about Google Maps which is just another map but in a more updated format so we started to Google different places we Google my grandmother's house we googled the house where we lived before we googled some places in Africa just so they could see because the pictures reiterated the fact that it is a majority desert at the uh, northern part of Africa because the pictures show desert so it's a way for you to get outside of the classroom also or outside of the house so we google um, the old house where I used to live and we saw the person who lives there now and I know that they live there now because I went over there their car was in front and I went over there to talk to a neighbor one time but anyway so um, we googled that house but you can see the street views from previous years because I told them I had Googled that house before where we used to live and saw the previous people before who used to live there. So anyway, I was just curious. So you can go back and see. So I Googled it and I went back to 2014 because I lived there. No, I lived there 2012 through 2014 and my car was like right in the front yard. So it was kind of weird. Um, but yeah. And I Googled, because it gives you different date ranges that you can go back and see the street view. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. My kids thought it was interesting. I was like, yep, yeah, there go my car right there at that address at that certain time. It went all the way to that certain time. It's kind of freaky and weird to me, too, at the same time. But um, so we went to different places. We went to Hawaii because my kids wanted to see um how beautiful Hawaii was because they want to go and we've never been and it's beautiful and all that stuff but I told them I want to go to Turks and Caicos so we went we googled Turks and Caicos we went you know just different places um and also different countries so that they could see that so they got to see some pictures of oh we went to uh Mexico and saw you know anyway so that's what I was trying to get them to tell you guys. It looks like they are getting rowdy in there. And it, I've only been on here for four minutes. That's kind of what homeschooling is like too. At the end of this journey, I'll be able to discuss, you know, my highs and lows of homeschooling. But you cannot leave them unattended for any amount of time. And hopefully they'll get better with that as the routine goes. But they in there. not doing math work so 